Okay guys, Clint here for dropshipsocial.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how many products do you need on your store before you go live. So let's get cracking on this one. products do you need on your e-commerce store on your dropshipping store you need one <laughs> you need at least one but that's I guess it's a bit of a joke at the end of the day you want to have a full store you could use click funnels and they use you can use one product and send them down the funnel uh, you know and have a single product website via click funnels for example but what we're talking about is Shopify stores actual drop shipping stores around a, a solid niche so how many do you need and I guess it, it, it it ties in with how many suppliers that you need as well. But how many products? I mean, you need you need a few to fill your site out, right? But at the end of the day, just work with what you've got, okay? If you've got one supplier on board, you've got 10, 10 products, go live. You can't make any money, you can't make any money without being out there in the world. You can't make a single thing. So if the site doesn't look, you know, Mickey Mouse 100%, it doesn't matter. As long as you're out there, you promote the products that you've got heavily, and, and make a few sales and build build that momentum you know get more products on board but don't be held back by how many products you've got on the site okay it's not that as important as you think okay so ideally what do you, I mean it depends on your niche of course and you might want to have two three four five ten ten suppliers more you know you might want to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of products but at the end of the day don't get hung up on that part of it okay upload your products as quickly as you can go live and then Build, build on that, okay? Get more suppliers on board as you go. Put more products up as you go. Go live, that is what I'm getting at. Take massive, massive action and go live. Don't let this, this, this thing, these kind of questions hold you up. Is it enough? Is it pretty enough? Have I got enough suppliers? You know, uh, <laughs> etc. Just go live. <laughs> Promote the products you've got. I'm, I'm going to keep repeating myself because it's important. Just promote the products you've got. You can't make any money if you're not trying to sell them to people. Okay, even if you don't put the paid ads on, you just go through through a few free free traffic traffic methods that I cover in a lot of other videos to get some traffic to your store, to get some momentum building, to get a uh, some retargeting going, you know, to get a few likes on your Facebook page, whatever. Just get the products up, turn your site on. And, and figure it out from there, okay? Obviously, it's it's not 100% ideal. It's, your site isn't stunning, but you're only just starting out. So what difference does it make? Try and sell something. Try and make a few bucks. All right, we, <laughs> we, we could this could turn into a big rant, so let's not do that. But other than that, if you want to ask more questions about any of this kind of stuff, head over to dropshipsocial.com. That's a free social media platform for like-minded dropshippers like yourself and entrepreneurs to connect, share, and learn. You can ask all the questions you like. You can share all the different content that you like. It's a lot of cool people over there, so check it out, dropshipsocial.com. And until next time, continue to live the dream, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Cheers.